How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here, and it's time for another NHL 16 shootout commentary. And this time, I want to use the San Jose Sharks and talk about the first major suspension for this year. And my God, it's a big one. Rafi Torres getting suspended for 41 games. Oh my God. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. This guy's had suspensions his entire career, right? So I'll just get, uh, we'll talk about this in a little bit of a professional matter. I got this written down. Hang on a sec. San Jose Sharks forward Rafi Torres has been suspended 41 games for a preseason hit on Anaheim Ducks forward Jacob Silverberg. Jacob Silverberg, whatever you want to call him. Torres took four strides before delivering a high hit that made Silverberg's head the main point of contact. This play was both interference and an illegal check to the head. All right, so if you haven't uh, taken a look at it, go on tsn.ca or nhl.com. Um, it should be one of the first headlines. Rafi Torres is already going to miss half the season. And a guy like that, this literally could be the end of his career, you know? Probably not, but it, tough guys, all these suspensions... God damn, man. And in my opinion, the hit, it didn't necessarily look that late. But since the head was hit, you have to look at everything. So when you slow it down and you time it, yeah, it was late. But had it been a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder check, I think, you know, Silverberg pops back up. And, you know, maybe at the worst, it's a two-minute interference penalty. The reason it is what it is is because of Torres's history and the fact that the shoulder came up and hit his head, right? So we'll talk about this a little bit afterwards. I want to get into this, but uh, I want to focus on the shootout as well because I want to pull off that new deke, all right? Uh, some people were saying to call it the Houdini. The reacher. Oh, come on, Thomas Hurdle. You're going to, you're going to, uh, Martin Biron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that sweet looking goal on uh, Martin B Biron. Was it Biron? Matthew Biron? Martin Biron. Oh, shit. I can't even remember that name. The backup for the New York Rangers. Made him retire. And you can't even hit the net for me. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Oh, shit. You got me going the wrong way. Nice goal there, buddy. James Van Reems, Dyke. It's really like you, you got to choose in this. Martin Jones goes fishing. Comes up empty. JVR. <laughs> Sliding on the ice. All right. Joe Pavelski, the newly named captain of the San Jose Sharks. Here we go. Here we go. The reach around. Oh, bingo. There. Oh, I'm on my forehand and I couldn't roof it. You're going to be shitting me. Oh, I got to be able to roof that. That must have hit his pinky toe on the way up. Jonathan Bernier. Nice save. All right, this is not looking too good, boys. Joffrey Lupo coming in. Joffrey. Stack the pads. Oh, my God. I missed by a mile. I chose the right way, but I was on the right side. Uh, I'm, not, I'm moving like a goof right now. <laughs> I think he actually tried to reach back in the net and grab it still. Look at this. Watch him reach back and try to. Yeah, then, then he got the puck out of the net. All right, what's the score? I got to get a goal here. Oh, man, this is not good. I'm going to try the move, boys. I'm going to try the Houdini. Oh, bingo. Oh, I missed the net. Ah! The game doesn't want me to win. It's just not going well right here in San Jose. I tried the Houdini right there. And once again, missed the net with Patrick Marlowe. Missed the net with Thomas Hurdle. Hit freaking the pinky toe of Jonathan Bernier. And here comes Kadri flying. Oh, for fuck's sake. Such horse shit. Nothing goal. Okay, I was just meant to lose this one. The Toronto Maple Leafs hand it to the San Jose Sharks. See what you've done, Rafi Torres? We're thinking about you right now instead of thinking about the Toronto Maple Leafs. We took them lightly, and they just come in there and beat our asses. I took away the bottom. How does that find a way through? Oh, what the hell. All right, so we'll get back into this about uh, Rafi Torres, right? Now, 41 games is a long time for a suspension, especially for a guy like that. Like I said, he may not get a chance to play again. Maybe San Jose, they find another player to fill that role, and they just never need him again, right? So, how did that go in? For God's sakes. It's a long time for a suspension, but it's Torres' history that's forced the hand here. I mean, he's already been suspended for hitting Jarrett Stoll, uh, Jordan Everly, Nate Prossier, Marion Hossa, now Jacob Silverberg. He's also been warned twice for illegal hits and fined three times. Put it like this, guys. Rafi Torres has played 703 games in his NHL career. And during that time, he has been either warned, fined, or suspended a total of nine times, all right? This is the new rules in the CBA. You get uh, extended uh, uh, reprimands for a history, and Torres has that. He's got a huge history. So, you know, you look at the hit, like I said, I don't think it was that late. He definitely targeted the head, and based off the history of Rafi Torres, the NHL has made a decision, and you know what? I agree with that decision. You can't have goofballs like Rafi Torres injuring star players like, like Eberle and Marion Hossa. Jacob Silverberg could have a breakout season for Anaheim. You can't have that. This goof is a goof, and you gotta, you gotta get a leash on that goof, right? So 41 games, Rafi Torres. Think about what you've done, you goof. My God. So I, I agree with it. What do you guys think? Good call? Too much? Let me know.